The speed controller in this helicopter sucks, so we're going to replace it with something better and then we're going to thrash it. This is an Align 470L helicopter. They were released over seven years ago and you can still buy them new and parts are freely available. You can get them for super cheap as well. I got this one on eBay for hardly any money and it included batteries and spares. Although it flies well, the speed controller is the biggest letdown. It caused a crash recently because it went into low voltage cutoff because there's no telemetry telling me the battery state. So we're going to replace the standard speed controller with the most commonly used alternative. And then we'll see if it flies any better and if the extra features are worth the money. This is a Hobbywing Platinum Pro V4 60 amp speed controller. It's rated slightly higher than the Align. It's got telemetry, better internal governor and active freewheel. There's a link in the description below if you want to read the details. So before we install this on the helicopter, I need to update the firmware so it works with VBAR. So I've got this programming box. Now that the VBAR version is installed, I'm just going to set the BIC output to 7.3. Next, we need to remove the existing speed controller. Disconnect the motor leads and that's it. You can see it's got the motor leads, the battery leads and one lead to the receiver. So this carries power and gets a throttle signal in return. There's no telemetry, no RPM out and no backup power lead. The weather's not looking very good at the moment. The forecast said it would be dry, but it's starting to rain. Hopefully we can get this installed and flying before the end of the day. This seems to be about the best way to install it. The receiver leads fit all the way to the back, so we don't need the extension anymore. And the motor and battery leads fit quite well there. The telemetry cable goes to the back and plugs in the telemetry port. That'll give us RPM, battery voltage, and if we want to plug in the program box, that'll go into this free port over here. That's it, all installed, let's go fly. Okay, that is amazing. The governor works so well and is much better to fly with a stable head speed from beginning to end. And I can run the head speed lower than before as it doesn't need to sag overhead. And I get the data once I've completed the flight. It shows me RPM, lowest voltage and end voltage. So in conclusion, the Hobbywing speed controller is a much better option for the Align 470 helicopter than the standard ESC. The governor actually works and I get telemetry back about battery state and temperature. Unfortunately, it doesn't have current measurement, so I'm still running a timer rather than capacity. There are a few speed controllers that support current and capacity, but they are two to three times more expensive, so this is a decent solution. I'm off to do some more flying with my 470 helicopter. Until next time.